All right, we are ready to see some furry friends this morning. Thanks to uh, SPCA Tampa Bay. We have Martha joining us once again to talk about a, a big campaign coming up, a big fundraiser. Uh, but before we do that, let's introduce you uh, as well to a furry senior friend that we want to concentrate on this morning. Martha, so good to see you as always. Thank you for having me, Carly. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, we're gearing up for this big fundraiser, paw, you know, pot forward campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get to that, we've got to introduce this cutie here, Martha. This cutie is Cupid. He's a Pomeranian, <laughs> isn't he a sweetie? He is. So talk about senior dogs and why you wanted to, to highlight them this morning, Martha. So we have a wonderful program with our partner, Love My Dog Resorts. They provide some advanced medical screening and some post-adoption support for any dog that's adopted that's over seven years old. So it helps people understand the wonderful joys of taking home a guy like this, and it gives a wonderful senior pet a chance at a new family. Yeah, well, and talk about it, because I think there are some hesitations, you know, when you hear a dog maybe 14 years old, or, you know, it's like, man, why, you know, why should I adopt a senior? What say you? Well, there are lots of pets like Cupid that need support, need a family, and they can give you a wonderful um, addition to your family and they can give you lots of joy. Maybe they're not quite as active as a puppy. They're often a little more uh, um, predictable. So yeah. you're not dealing with quite so many surprises um, and they can be just a super addition to a family that's already got a pet or maybe a family that doesn't have a pet yet, but wants to try, you know, maybe a little bit shorter commitment because, you know, clearly uh, Cupid is 14. He's not going to be around for another 20 years, but he could yeah. easily be around for another five. Oh, yeah. well, I know there's another dog you wanted to highlight as well this morning. Uh, talk about the, the second dog. Yes, Osiris is a happy, uh, energetic seven-year-old. He's Rowdy's dog of the week, and he loves to play, but he also loves to cuddle. Good, friendly guy. There you can see him on the screen. Just a sweetheart. Oh, see, in seven, it's, it's like, man, I don't think of them as a senior dog, but that is considered a senior. Yeah, most veterinarians will suggest that you start doing a little bit different blood work. And that's part of the reason we do that advanced medical screening before they go up for adoption so that they can go home to their new family with even more information and help their vet make sure the uh, pet gets the care it needs. Oh, well, and I'd imagine if you do that, then uh, dogs like that have certainly several more years of life. So I love that. Yeah. All right, let's get to this big uh, Paw It for fu uh, Forward fundraiser event coming up. We're so happy to partner uh, with you and the organization as well. So tell us a little bit more about this. Well, we're really excited. Our Paw It Forward Fund Drive is an opportunity for anybody in the community to help animals in need. Uh, we have wonderful sponsors like ABC Action News, First Home Bank, Hills uh, Pet Nutrition that match the gifts that people make during our fun drive. You can give online, you can do it uh, over the phone, you can even do it with a text. Um, it's all, all the information about it is on our website. And we're, it's a wonderful way, again, for the community to get involved. There are literally thousands of animals coming to our doors every year, uh, companion animals, livestock, and even wildlife that need our help. Oh, what is the money actually used for, Martha? What do you tell people? I know uh, you're very proud about everything you're able to do, but what specifically are the funds used for? You know, it, taking care of an animal uh, in a shelter environment requires skilled medical staff, or it requires people who can understand the importance of proper feeding and proper enrichment for those animals. It costs at least $25 a day per animal, and we could have an animal in our facility for months at a time. So all of the funds that are raised during Paw It Forward are gonna help those animals get the kind of care that they need on their way to a forever home. Oh, I like that. Well, hopefully we can find Cupid here, a forever home. What kind of family do you think she'd be good for, Cupid there? You know, I think Cupid would do well in a family that's probably got, uh, has had another small dog, uh, certainly one that is um, a family that's used to going to the groomer because um, he's gonna be grooming regularly. <laughs> and I think somebody who's interested in being Patient. I don't know that Cupid's going to be somebody that a dog that's going to go jogging, but Cupid does like to go for walks. He's great on a leash. He's very social. So probably a, a more relaxed and yet interactive lifestyle. Oh, well, Martha, thank you so much. We know how busy you and the team are and everything you're doing for the community and certainly pets in the community. So we appreciate it. Again, we're so happy. Uh, I know ABC Action News to partner uh, on this uh, uh, campaign and fundraiser as well. So much more uh, that we're going to do on it as well so stay tuned for that but martha thank you so much we appreciate it bye cupid thank you bye <laughs>
I love it. And remember, whether your pets swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has your pet's favorite brands.